us look at question 15. Question A, the diagram in the answer space shows triangle ABC with vertices A 2,3, B 4,2 and C 4,4. Triangle ABC is mapped on two triangle A1, B1, C1 where the ones are subscript under a deflection in the line x equals 6. Draw triangle a subscript 1, B subscript 1, C subscript 1 on the diagram in the answer space. So, if you look at the diagram on the answer space, this is the diagram. So, you can see point A here, point B here, point C here. So, these are the points. Then we are told that the line of reflection is X is equal to 6 which is in this line this is the line so we just draw this line so this one will be x is equal to 6 now under deflection the size of the object does not change the distance are equal so point b will be distance this distance which should be equal to the mirror to this distance so this should be B, so this should be B1. Then similarly, C will be the same distance from here, then here. So these distances are equal, so this will be C1. Then A will be the same distance from here, so this distance should be the same up to here. This should be A1, like that. So these are the drawings that we need. So I can clear this one. So just connect this line, then let me connect this line, it should be blue, like that, so that this line is perpendicular. So now when I join these points, I'm going to have this diagram. So these diagrams are the one that we are looking for. So now, because I want it to look clean, I can remove these lines. This is... Then this is like that. So I'm going to label them properly now, clean. So this will be B1, this will be C1, then this will be A. One like that. So once you do this, you're good to go and you get the two marks. Question B, the equation of a curve is y is equal to this, we need to find dy dx. So dy dx is just differentiating. So y is equal to, this one can be written as x to the power 1 minus 2x square, then plus, then this can be written using the principle that we know that a to the power negative n is the same as 1 over a to the power n. So we do the opposite, so this becomes now this x to the power 3 becomes negative, so it will be x to the power negative 3. Then in differentiating, we use the principle that if you are given y is equal to x to the power n dy dx equals n then x to the power n minus 1 like that. That's the principle to use. So dy dx equals 1 times x, it becomes 1 times x, then 1 minus 1, then minus, we have 2, then the power 2, then x, 2 minus 1, then this plus, then this power will be minus 3, then it will be x, then minus 3 minus 1. Like that. Simplifying, we have 1 times x to the power 0. Anything less to the power 0 is a 1. So it will be 1 times 1 to be 1. Then minus 2 times 2 is negative 4. Then 2 minus 1 is 1. So we're going to have uh, x to the power, which is x. Then negative 3, this becomes minus 3. 
Then negative 3, which is the power minus negative 1, it will be negative 4. Like this. Then we know what this is. If you want, you can write it the same way it is. Or we know what this is. We can use this principle. So this means 1 over x to the power 4. So we can go and dip like this in the answer space. So we know that is 1 minus 4x minus so minus 3 over x to the power so 3 over x to the power 4. That's the answer. When you do this, you're good to go and you get the four marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please don't forget to download your study companion in the link in the description section. Join me as I look at question 16.